the deal involves Tobias Harris and involves picks. You rid yourself of the Tobias Harris money and you take on three years or four years of the Bradley Beal money, which escalates quickly to it's already over what uh, um, Tobias Harris is getting. There's a lot of intrigue, a lot of intrigue surrounding this deal uh, for Bradley Beal. I just don't know what you're getting from Bradley Beal, and I'm tired of looking at guys, whether that be Ben Simmons or James Harden, and thinking, what do they have left? Are they motivated? Will they be motivated? Will they be a good scorer on this team? Because Bradley Beal's a scorer. One, one and a half, three-pointers per game over the last couple of years. Um, 30% three-point percentage, shooting about five or six a game. That's volume. That's volume without a big return on, the, on, that, on that investment. Uh, I, I don't know what you're getting at this point. And then you're also looking pretty small. I mean, Tyrese Maxey isn't exactly seven foot, okay? He's not exactly Dirk. Uh, and then you have a 6'4 guard, shooting guard, playing with him in Bradley Beal in this hypothetical. Bradley Beal was drafted third overall the year Anthony Davis was drafted. That's the same year Mo Harkless got drafted by the 76ers. Okay, that's where we're at right now. Um, Ten-year NBA veteran, hasn't played in more than uh, 60 games since the 2018-2019 season. I just, I don't want to run it back with James Harden. I'd almost try anything else at this point. But if you're going to be ridding yourself of the Tobias Harris deal, which you're just about to get out of, and then you can have a lot more flexibility at the end of this year, I am more at a point where I am more inclined to just move on from Tobias Harris after this year. And people will say, well, you're not going to get anything for him. Yeah. In your mind, what are you getting for him? Are you getting Bradley Beal? Do you actually think you're going to get Bradley Beal? Because if I'm the if I'm the the Wizards, the only attraction to that is I am relieving myself of my, myself of three other years of a big contract, and that's a plus for a lot of teams. The Wizards supposedly are a team that want to uh, blow it up and kind of start all over again. They kind of have already, but you know whatever. With a little bit more cap flexibility, that would help them a great deal. So that would be the attraction in the deal. Um, I want to have confidence in this deal because when Bradley Beal is on top of his game, I really enjoy watching him play. When you're talking about a guy that can score 30 points a, a night, now I wouldn't do that in this offense with, with Joel Embiid, obviously, and Tyrese Maxey, but the biggest attraction for me is that it's not James Harden. Up there in terms of pros, in terms of why I would like this move, it's not James Harden. It's a shooting guard that can score – next to uh, Tyrese Maxey, and a guy that can shoot if he's open with Joel Embiid maybe taking more of a role, but not solely a role of facilitator. Yes, kind of like Joker, where he's able to kick the ball out to an open shooter and knocking it down from three. I just hate the questions about Bradley Beal nagging injuries and whether or not he was motivated for his last two, three years there in, um, in Washington. So what brand of basketball are you going to be getting from Bradley Beal is the question. If he plays the potential, then yes, it would be a great move for the Sixers. But if he's just more of the unmotivated guy, then I then it's a waste. And you've locked yourself into three, four more years of the Tobias Harris deal. No, thank you. Depending on whether they're able to move him at the end of the deal, which I doubt they'd be able to. I I don't want... James Harden back and the bigger thing that jumps out to me from the quote from Bill Simmons is that Harden is not going to be back and he's really cemented in that and I don't think he comes back and we'll know in three weeks two weeks whether or not James Harden is back in Philadelphia but I'm ready to move on from him is Bradley Beal the guy you want to move on to and lock up more money down the long term when you're also going to have to sign Tyrese back to this rookie deal it's a it's a tough call to make but I would be happy if the Sixers, still no other option of tangible, tangible option. No real report. Like, we haven't heard from Woj. We haven't heard from uh, Windhorst about anybody that is, oh, definitely, this guy's coming to the Sixers. The Sixers are pursuing him hard. Anything like that. There's nothing out there right now that has made me go, oh, that's a difference maker. There's nobody in free agency. It has to be by trade. And so far by trade, I don't see the difference maker. 
I, I, I want to believe that it's Bradley Beal because I'd love for him to be the guy. And if Joel Embiid is the champion behind that, I mean champion for the cause, not all right, you know what I mean. Um, if he's the guy pushing for it and he's be really happy with it, then all right, maybe they can make it work. Maybe those two guys want to play with each other. Maybe they, maybe Bradley Beal, that's the, the move he's been waiting for.